Oh, baby. Welcome back, my dear. <laughs> At the bra. Yes, what is it? Come on, you're not Come on. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you're welcome. What's the thank you, eh? Good to meet you, Auntie Deborah. Good to meet me. Um, I mean, uh, you know, after staying away for two weeks, it's like two years. I missed you all. <laughs> Where is that? At the office, I suppose. Mm. You know what? And I missed you too. I missed you. Um, Auntie Deborah, would you please hold me and lead me to my bed? I feel like becoming a kid again. But you know you're a kid. You're a kid, Cynthia. All right, just be my mother for once and leave me to my bed. I'll always do that for you, okay? Your Majesty! <laughs> Captain! Let me look. Hey! Hey! Oh, this is wonderful. I think you've grown. In just two weeks? Am I? Looks like. Mm. Yes, I, 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 yes, I think so. Your mother is inside. Sandra, your Majesty is here. Sophia, baby. What is this, Sophia? Oh, it's a girl I met at the competition. We exchanged hairstyles, banters. It doesn't look good. Well, I think it's fine. It's fine. It only makes you look um, a little taller and a bit older for your age. We don't like you then. <laughs> oh, it's cute. It's cute. It's cute. Look, I'm already late for my meeting with the minister. Once again, I say welcome. When I come back, we have a lot to talk about. I will tell you what she. <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay. Uh, what is this, Sophie? Nothing, mommy. Uh, nothing. Is this? I'm just overwhelmed. Meaning? You know, I've never known how much I missed you until now. Oh, come on, baby. It was just for only two weeks. And, uh, mommy, my teacher in school said that a lot could happen in a very short while. And. It could simply change somebody's life. <clears throat> oh, well, I think your teacher is right. <laughs> then believe me, Mom, I'm a changed person now. Really? A ponytail for stops. Oh, 
auntie Deborah? Um, yes, the auntie had the peace competition. She said caring mothers should help their children during exams and peace competition in order to concentrate. Oh, really? Then wait for that time. Right now, you will stand up from this place, walk up the stairs to your bedroom, and get your clothes and wash. No, no, no. I said right now. I will wash the clothes. I'm not going to wash them. Get them in, mommy. Get them in. Yes, Dad. Small portion for you. Yes, Dad. Anything wrong? Nothing, Dad. Only had enough. Is it part of uh, keeping fit for the next quiz? Daddy. Mm -hmm. A girl shouldn't really eat that much. Otherwise, it catches up with you. Says Mom. Mom? Um, uh, I mean, the um, coordinator of the competition. I called her mom. I see. Deborah. Sir. Please come. Mm, Cynthia. Mm -hmm. Let your auntie do it. Um, Dad, any woman hopeful of a peaceful home with her husband should do small chores like cleaning the table. <laughs> I guess that's another one from your teacher. Exactly, Dad. <laughs> this is our good job competition. <laughs> As a friend, hmm. I don't need you as a friend either. Go to hell. Mom, can you see? Can you see? Okay. You get into the house. Get inside.
Sophia! Sophia, what has come over you? Why should I shut up? What? You talk back at your mother like that? Listen to me. When I say shut up, you shut up. That's the way it's been and that's the way you should continue to be in this house. Did you get that? I said, did you get that? After I have a father and he loved me very much. Or don't I have a father? You don't have a father. I, I, 
I I am I I I called I called Amina. What? I I I called her to apologize for, for calling her mother names. And have you done that? Yes. And I I couldn't sleep because I I don't know what went into me. So I called her and she also apologized for telling me that I didn't have a father and we are friends again. I'm sorry, Mom. It's okay, my dear. It's okay. You know, we all make mistakes, but the difference is how we try and make amends. I, I'm i sorry for shouting at you, Mom. It's okay. And you know, I'm so sorry for slapping, okay? I love you, Mom. It's okay, come, let's go to bed, okay? how I want it. So that what will I be doing? Read your books, play, go to competitions, win. Dad, but Dad, I I can't allow I can't leave Auntie Deborah to do all the chores. To be unfair. That's what she's paid for. And she's not complaining. So why should you? I don't want you to suffer. Yeah. When will I start my duties as a woman? Mm -hmm. What will I say you know, on your 20th birthday? And in the meantime... Hug daddy. doesn't think so. And that's not like Cynthia. Whatever, whatever. Um, well, um, um, if I'm a, I heard daddy speaking on the phone to a lady. They seem to be very close. He called her Stella. Stella. Stella, Stella, Stella. Oh, yes, yeah, Stella. You know her? Of course I do. <laughs> What's she like? She's dark. She's pretty, very pretty. How can I identify her? Well, she's always on jeans trousers, she's equally and she's, she's whatever, whatever. Let's continue. Okay, faster. Oh. Who's Junior? But I can't go that far. He doesn't want me to do chores. Um, uh, uh, I, uh, uh, it, uh, it was, if I'm a, yes, if I'm a. And 
you asking her for junior uh, um, Yes, it's a game we often play, yes, and sometimes she asks me who. Who? Who, who answered the door? Can I ask you a question? Sure, Dad. Since you came back from Abuja, you've not played your computer game. I, I, I completely, I completely lost interest. People change. Right? Yes, Dad. Missed you. It's, a, it's like a meeting for the first time. Yeah. Missed you. While you women try to reintroduce yourselves, let me dash out for a meeting with Tendaya. Baby girl, daddy loves you. Hey, come on. I'll be back. You look beautiful. Wow, you look prettier. What did they do to you in Abuja? Abuja is one unforgettable experience. I learned a lot of things, including new hairstyles. Reminds me. What happened to your ponytail? Changed it. We'll go back to it later. Sounded like a woman already. <laughs> Can I ask you something, Auntie? Yeah, go ahead. What do you actually find in my father? What? Why ask such a question? It's because I admire you a lot. With your beauty and intelligence, I think you should attract more honest and deserving men. What? Hey, Cynthia, you're talking about your father. I know. But you wouldn't know what kind of moral lessons we were taught in Abuja, would you? Moral lesson? Yes, that partners should be honest to each other. What are you talking about? I don't know about you. But my father is a dishonest partner. There is Rose, there is Priska. I don't care about them. I don't talk to them. They are too wild for my liking. But you are different. What? So, for how long has this been going on? Never mind how long. I kept quiet because I didn't understand. But now I do. It would be unfair to keep quiet while daddy cheats on you. Which, why? 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 But, why? Which, why? Oh, shut up! Come. Did your father put you up to this? No, please don't tell him I told you. He'll practically skin me alive if he found out, please. Wow. So Richie has been cheating on me all along. All, all along? Oh, we must have been taken. It's like 
centuries after me. <laughs> <laughs> Happening to you? Yeah, life, realities, the realities of life. You, you approach 20 and you think you can save the world. Towards 30, it's like, oh, I can save my country. But come 40. And you pray to God that you can save your family. <laughs> so, where, I mean. Are you not going to ask me? Oh, so sure. Ah, beautiful place you've got. Oh, thank you, thank you. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> wow. So how did you trace me? Trace you? Mm -hmm. hmm. Let me see. Chief Duke. Chief Duke is not a common man in Abuja. And once I got to him, the rest was easy. Don't tell me daddy knows you're in the country. Oh, certainly. You know, us men, we have our secrets too. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, it's it's 12 years now, James. Yeah, it's been 12 years. But Please, please, don't remind me. <laughs> okay. I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> so. So? So? So. I mean, so, so what has been happening to you? A lot. <laughs> A lot? Mm -hmm. Like what? Everything. Everything? Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 12 years is enough time to build so many worlds 12 times over. It took God only six days to build this present world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, but don't rub it in, okay? Don't I'll just try, rub it in. I'll try. Listen, nine out of those 12 years I spent in hell. And one of my greatest agonies was not being able to contact you. How? Well, mm, well, that's a matter for some other day. Now let's talk about you. Look at this place. How have you been doing? How are you? Uh, I mean... She, she... Oh yes, my daughter. Come here, Sophia. Come here, honey. Come say hello to Uncle. Here is my darling daughter, Sophia. Sophia, this is my friend, Uncle James. Hello, Sophia. Pleased to meet you. You look absolutely beautiful. Oh, wow. Well. You know. So, look at you. See how they're laughing. Look at you. He's just really huge, James. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Just yes, making love to me. It's okay. okay. You really do look it. <laughs> you still have that laugh. I love that laugh. Richard. Richard, why must Stella be the center of our discussion this Saturday morning? Good girl. Come on. How come? Oh, she's awesome. <clears throat> okay. But, but, I'm, I'm serious. Please, this is very serious. What do you think about her? Now, let me tell you something. Right. No doubt, Stella is pretty. She's glamorous and certainly will be, oh, good in bed. Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, come on. Cut off your amorous mind from her sexual anatomy. Eh? Is that what you, uh, you, you want to see her? Uh, you want me to only concentrate on her intellectual no. setting? No, not really. You know, something more behavioral. I mean, as in, how do you see her attitude? Attitude? Yeah. How do you mean? What exactly do you mean? What do you think of me making Stella my wife? Do you want my sincere uh, opinion? Sure, sure. You had your wife and lost her. Oh, come on, that was 10 years ago. I'm talking of today. Oh, yes, yeah, certainly. There cannot be today, but for our actions of yesterday, Richard. So if we derailed yesterday, doesn't mean we can't pick up today? Oh, not at all. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about that. But you do not drop a pound to pick a penny. What I am saying is that you do not use a whale to catch a small fish. Is that the way you say? Oh, come on, but that's how it is anyway. That's how it is. 
Come on, Richie, let's think of some other things, man. Me, I came prepared. Why not let's go to my house? I pick my ball and go. I will go straight to the club and let me go and trounce you. Trounce <laughs> you. Wait, wait, wait. So let, me just, let me just wear my canvas. Go, wait, man. Go, wait. <laughs> go, wait. Go, hey, there you go. I know I'm ready for you look, today. Look, look. Anyhow, you look at it. Ah. <laughs> I'm just, ready for you. You just, can't bribe me with, uh, with juice. Me. Eh? You, you can't bribe me with juice. I'm ready for you today. to her computer games as usual. Sophia? <clears throat> it's a new one. Dad, she's completely turned a new person she's, since she came back from the two-week competition. Is that for good or bad? I'm afraid it's not a pleasant one. Her actions, she, she's so aggressive, so quick to anger. <laughs> Suspected. Dad, that girl is gradually driving me nuts. I mean, she wants to grow up in one day. Yes, for a new house to have every now and then. Is that so? Dad, worse. She doesn't even enjoy doing the house shows you she normally enjoys. Never enters the kitchen to help me out anymore. Hmm. Is she protesting anything? Nothing. I mean, she just acts as if he's a normal practice. Well, uh, I don't think there's anything for you to worry about. She only wants to make the most of her vacation. And if you ask me, she deserves it. Daddy? I'm missing you, oh yeah, so I am, so I am. <sighs> melodies oh, melodies what exactly do you want? Sandra, 
I want us to start from where we stopped. bother you that you didn't even get bothered about what happened to me when you left me. No, that is not so important right now. What matters most now is that I'm back. I came back and I have met you, the love of my life, and I've met you heal and heavy. That is what matters most. It does matter to me. Don't you think your daughter needs a father? Yeah. But that's the problem. Sophia has this thing in her that would make her choose her own father and not the other way around. Leave that to me. I can assure you, I've got a way with this. If you think Sophia is one ordinary kid, then you've got another thing coming. Take it from me, she didn't particularly like you the first time. Well, I've said leave everything to me. What I should be worrying about? Indeed, what worries me most is you. It's your feelings. It's your heart. So, James is still too early. Okay. Okay. I'll wait. I'll wait for you, Sophia. <laughs> Even for another 12 years, I'll wait. I can't afford to lose you a second time. So, no more talk of the heart. Let's just eat like old times and be happy, okay? Let me give you a good piece of chicken, no? Have this. You can even have this also. Oh, oh, better still. Remember this? Take a seat. That's right, girl. Look absolutely gorgeous. Right selection. Go. Just, just, just look at that nonsense. What are they giving this fufu to eat in the camp? I don't know. Mm. 
from all the things we have in this country. Look at look at the, the selection of this of this of this useless coach. Hi. Since how many cases we since how many cases went out in number eleven, we've not we have not been able to find a replacement. One thing about this country, God forbid. Dad, Baby can I ask you something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. What? Where exactly do you see Aunt Stella? Why do you ask? Um, I'm a bit worried that you should ever consider marrying her. I'm a very serious statement coming from a child of your age. But Dad, marriage is a serious affair. Yeah, I know. It's true, but at your age, you should be thinking about your studies. Dad, mm -hmm. would you want to marry Flet? God forbid. Why should I do that? I have friends. And they know Aunt Stella to be nothing else. Cynthia. Seat. Dr. Jones, for the first time my daughter has taken seriously ill. What do I do, please? I want to get her to the hospital straight away. Yes. All right, I'll wait. But please hurry up, please, please. Okay. It's a severe case of pneumonia. Pneumonia? Yes. I'm afraid she's going to be in here for a long stay. Pneumonia? That's a new one. Um, Dr. Chums, you've been my family doctor for a while now. How come? 
Well, Sydney has hardly fallen ill for any serious medical test. And I'm quite surprised. She never showed any sign of this ailment earlier on. Some means. Well, look, whatever it takes. No, no, get no, no, no problem. No problem. That's exactly why I'm here. So how are you feeling now, Cynthia? Mm. I can't really say for my um, Junior. Could you leave us please? Why? We want to discuss girls' things. Yep. Yep, sir. What are girls things? Junior, please. about your monthly checkup. Oh, this your new addiction to your computer has completely wiped your 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 routine. What checkup, mom? Your monthly checkup with Dr. Sanders. Oh, that. I don't think I need any checkup this month. I'm absolutely fine. Really? Well, Dr. Sanders says every month, and I'm not ready to risk what happened the last time you skipped. So, I will adhere to Dr. Sanders' rules. I'll get it. Oh my god. What? Um oh god, why now? Um 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 alright, alright. I'll be there. What is it? Tell her I'll try and convince mom to come with me. Okay. Bye. Who was that? Sophia, talk to me. Who was that? Um, uh, it's that my friend I told you about. The one you met at the competition? Yes, ma'am. Where about her? Um, she's taking seriously ill and it's asking for me. Asking for you? Yes, ma'am. That's absurd. But mom, what's absurd in my sister asking for me? Your sister? Um, 
Yes, and that's what people call us. Besides, she's a Roman Catholic too. Um, she led her school and I led mine. The final was keenly contested and they won marginally. So instead of rivalry, it united us. But you can't... What's wrong with her? Pneumonia. Pneumonia? That's strange. Um, mommy, mommy, what's strange about pneumonia? It's the same ailment you visited Dr. Sanders for ever since you were three. And mom, I promised I was going over to Lagos to see her. She may be in trouble. <laughs> what trouble? Are you now the new doctor? Hmm? Oh, Dr. Sanders is a specialist and could help my friend if she is really serious. Well, Dr. Sanders is the best. Then can we help her? Okay, when? Straight away. I will. I will consider that. Mommy, please. Mommy, please. Okay. Two days time. Thank you, Mom. On one condition. Name it. That you will resume your normal chores. Uh, yeah, all right, Mommy. I'll try. No, you won't try. You'll do it. Tell me something. What again? Is... Is my daddy still alive? Why do you ask? Is... Of course. He's alive. Um, don't you think I should know him? Sophia, please. Not now. Please. Why? Because you're far too young to understand it yet. Uh, that's what you think. I want to decide for Uncle Jim as a stepfather. What, Mom? Don't you think I should know who my father is? Sophia! You're far too young to talk like this! But, Mom, you sent me to Emmanuel Model Academy. So? I'm taught far beyond my scope. Well, if you say so. Well, believe you me, this is damn too far. Showed me you will get well soon. Eh? Very soon. Can I ask you something, Mom? Mom? I, I mean, Dad. Mm, whatever. Is Mommy as beautiful as she appears in photograph? Well, come to think of it. She's even more beautiful than she appears in photographs. And why did you ever let her go? Honey, please. Why? There is more to life than facial beauty. Was, was she anything as bad as a still in character? Cynthia, please don't compare to... Uh, when will you even let me meet her? Meet her? 
Why this sudden? As a green girl, don't you think I deserve to know who my mother is? Honey, please drop this topic, okay? Concentrate on getting well first. I'll get well faster if you take me to mom. Take you to mom. Mm, just to know her. Amazing change of Sophia's that is out of the ordinary. You know, it worries me too. I can hardly cope with her questions, with temperament, and sudden change. Yeah. I know it is usually difficult to bring out, to bring up a child single handedly. Mm. Uh, apparently. The father's presence is needed in this regards. A father? Oh, I don't mean that animal. No. You see, it is usually less tasking job to bring up a child in the presence of both parents. Anyway, I intend to take her to Lagos to see this friend of ours. Mm, that should be no problem. And take Martin with you. Just in case it becomes necessary to transfer to Dr. Saunders, he can, he can handle it without a hitch. Thank you, Daddy. My dear, you are most welcome. <laughs> um, hey, James, where, where's James? Oh, well... Well, then. what? Sophia does not think of my relationship with him. Sophia?
<laughs> well, I am not Cynthia. And it would be very impossible for your Cynthia to look as beautiful as I do. I'm sorry, I... Never mind. Whatever, never mind. <laughs> Good morning, students. Good morning, sir. We welcome you to this grand occasion. As you are all aware, today is the International Day of the African Child. The quiz event is sponsored by Tick Cross Literary Services and Ironic Foundations. It's a special quiz and debate competition to mark the uniqueness of the African child. Even when intimidated, disadvantaged and most times abandoned, the African child remains a symbol of purity. After the national elimination contest that started three months ago, today, the grand finale has seen the emergence of two great schools, namely Emmanuel Model Academy Abuja and Queen Amina International School Lagos. I suppose I have spoke, wasted enough time already in my speech, and so I'd like to pause here as I call on the host school to give us our students to lead us in prayers. It is a day for the African child, and therefore it is most appropriate that one leads us in prayers.
The daughter is sick, Cynthia, and I brought her to the hospital. No, Dad, I'm Cynthia. Cynthia, and it would be very impossible for your Cynthia to look as beautiful as I do. Um, I'm sorry, I... Never mind, whatever, never mind. Good morning, students. Welcome you to this grand occasion. As you are all aware, today is the International Day of the African Child. The quiz event, as sponsored by Tip Cross Literature Services and Ironic Foundations, is a special quiz and debate competition to mark the uniqueness of the African child. Even when intimidated, disadvantaged, and most times abandoned, the African child remains a symbol of Britain. After the national elimination contest that started three months ago, today, the grand finale has seen the emergence of two great schools, namely Emmanuel Model Academy Abuja and Queen Amina International School Lagos. I suppose I have spoken wasted enough time already in my speech. And so I would like to pause here as I call on the host school to give us our students to lead us prayers. It is a day for the African child, therefore, it is most appropriate that one leads us in prayers. Come on, my dear, introduce yourself. Tell the audience how you lead us in prayers. I'm Sophia G. They will rise, please. Let us pray. We bow our head in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our celestial and most loving Father, we are children, African children. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity to not only witness this weary birth, but also participate fully in this grand journey of African children. If 
diploma. Ik heb een hart op vlak van hart En lid in de park is deze Cynthia of Fonnick. Een hart op vlak van hart Participants are Patricia Dike, a lot of Mr. Hartley, <laughs> Isabella Roth, a lot of applause for Hartley, <laughs> Nana Abubaka, a lot of applause for Hartley, <laughs> and leading the park is Sophia Duke. Now to the main event, and which is the quiz competition problem. And I would like to call on Emmanuel Model Academy Abuja. And your main question is: Which significant world event took place on the 29th of February 1926? Five seconds have gone already. No event, sir. No event? Yes, sir. Are you absolutely certain? Yes, sir. All right, full marks for the Mano Model Academy of Georgia. <laughs> and now to Pinamina International School, Lagos. And the American is why wasn't there an event on the 29th of February, 1926? Why? It was because 1926 had no leap year. Great! Full marks open. I'm in our international Lagos. <laughs> well, students, we have come to the end of this quiz competition, and I must state here that um, in my two decades of uh, teaching the elite class, I have never seen such a keen contested match. How I wish I would call it a drum contest. But in everything in life, there are always a loser and a winner. And I must state here because I know it will interest you to note that just three points separate the loser from winner. And the winner is.
curious. If I were you, I'll be curious too. Why, if I may ask? Oh, come on. Take a close look at her. She looks exactly like you. So what? I would ask myself a curious question if I were you. You're not me and and what? Excuse me. What? Haven't you been putting a competition before? Why grief so much about this? Christ. Just be it, okay? My school is better than yours. Period. It's not that. Then what? This time. People say it looks so much alike. People say. Yes, and I believe them. You can believe whatever you like, but just, just what? Just, just. Cynthia! She's right. If you change your hairstyle to hers, you look exactly the same. And why should I change my ponytail to this? This thing? Cynthia! Cynthia! Sorry. You, you don't, don't need, need to, to be. be. Well, I guess I was a bit un, a bit harsh and unfriendly. That's all right. People are created differently. I think so. Actually, we really look alike. I think so too. In such circumstances, I think we should become more friendly than the one occasion by competing against each other. That was what I thought at first, but you rebuffed me. I apologized before. All right, forgive me again. It's, what do they call it? Juvenile delinquence. Yeah, juvenile de delinquence. It's all right. Tell me about yourself. I'm an only child who lives with her father in Lagos, Victoria Island. That's interesting. And I'm, all, I'm an only child. I live with my mother in Asukuru, not quite far from here. Really? Did, did you... Do you resemble your mom? I mean, did you take after her? Can't really say... Never met her besides her wedding picture with Dad. I see. Um, uh, what about you? Do you look like your mother? A little. But I believe I resembled my father in physical appearance. And do you? Mm, can't really say. You see, coincidentally, I know, the little I know about him is yet another wedding picture. Do you? You mean you never met your dad? Exactly. Mom and him separated even before I was born. She told me that. Amazing, isn't it? Mm, well, things like this happen every now and then. I use the word amazing because that is the same fate I'm taking. You know, my mother walked out on dad even before I was born.
then that makes it 12 hours to end. Can I make a wish? I'm no angel. You grant this if you really want to. So, can you come for my next birthday? Oh, I'd love to, but it really depends on mom. She, if she really loves you, as I suspect she would, she'd let you if you explain. It also depends on the date as well. Well, it's two months time at October. October? Yes. Mine also October. Well, mine's 13th of October. Oh my god, what a coincidence. I'm 13th of October too. You're not serious, are you? It's amazing, isn't it? Um, Cynthia, look, please, can you tell me more about yourself? I always take this anywhere. Oh my god! We're sisters! Sisters? Yes! This is exactly the same man I saw in my mommy's wedding pictures. We're twin sisters! Yes! We have the same mark, birth mark on our forehead. Miraculous meeting. Um, um, Cynthia, yeah? how trustworthy is your friend, Ifoma? Um, she's. Switch? Yes. I'll go to Lagos as you, and you go to her home as me. Can, 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 can we pull it? We can only but try. What? What? I'm certain none of them will call the police. I can't wait to fly into mom's arms. I'm already dying to meet dad. Then let's do it. Let's switch. Okay. If we're going to play this game, I like it. So we have to play it and play it well. Um. So, tell me about your home. Um. There's not too much to tell. Just that Grandpa and Uncle Martin call me Her Majesty. You see. You must say very little in their presence, or else they detect the very first day. Um, Daddy is fond of calling me Angel and Baby Girl, but there's Auntie Deborah. She's a problem. She knows me more than she should.
she has a, a specialist taking care of her in her virtual. Ever since her third birthday, she'd been on monthly observation. Well, Dr. Sunder says she'd agree it at her 16th birthday. It's just that I feel very responsible for her situation. You know, she normally shied away from cool things, you know, air-conditioned rooms, cars. But I didn't take her into consideration. I, I, feel, I feel very guilty about this. It's okay. It wasn't your fault. You were fooled, just as I was. Well, I guess we have uh, two extremely intelligent kids. Hi, Richie. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? So, fine, fine. So how's Cynthia? Well, it's not Cynthia actually. It's been Sophia all along. They went to this um, they went to this competition in Abuja or something. What are you talking about? It's a long story. Right. First, uh, meet my ex-wife. Sandra, Stella. Oh hey. about something. What? What? Uh, why did you ever separate? Cynthia and Sophia met accidentally somewhere and they just cooked up this mischievous plot just to surprise their parents. I wasn't part of this. I wasn't. Give it a rest. The hell you weren't. God, I should have known. You too tiny monster. What did you say? You heard me. You cheats. Oh, oh. You cheats. No, you, you, you want to be, beat me up. No, you beat me up! Beat me up! Beat me up! You are absolutely disgusting. Oh, my God. 
fight this nonsense with me again. It's fine. You have opened my eyes, and it's not hard to be wise. You know what? Mm, I'm not gonna cry because I've had about enough of your lies. Oh, it ain't no use. See, I'm no fool Still I thought, thought we, we could make it last Where did we go wrong? For how long? For how long? Now the dream is crumbling fast And I got to be strong For how long? For how long? If you've made up your mind to walk out of my life, go on. Oh, I say it's fine. You have opened my eyes, and it's not hard to be wise. You know what? Mm, I'm not gonna cry. Because I've had about enough of your life. Oh, I know you. What do you think of you? I'm living here, of course. I keep living with a lunatic. Lunatic? Did you call me a lunatic? What else are you? You tell me. Good. You better be quick about this. Or I'll just tell you how right you are. Don't worry, I'll be faster than you ever imagined. Great. I will do! 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 See, I'm no fool. Still, I thought we could make it last. Where did we go wrong? For how long? For how long? Yes, what do you want? What do you want? Tell me what you want. Now let me know what to tell Chief, eh? Is it also... Let's see, is that also what I'm talking to? Huh? Chief, uh, What the hell do you want in my house? To take my children home. Your children? Did you say your children? Of course. I want them, and I want them now. You are undoubtedly out of your mind. You Ingrid! I want my twin girls, and I want them now. Now I want you to listen to me, my dear boy. Now listen, I warn you, Richard or whatever it is you're called. If you let me unleash my voice on you again, you will be pummeled so hard you wouldn't know what hit you. That will be somebody's funeral. Exactly. Martin? Chief. Get the boys. Chief. Take this from me. I'll be back. For your funeral.
I will face that man until one of us runs out of blood. Richard. Mm, are we here? Richard, it will be stupid for you to walk yourself up. A tango or any fight whatsoever with Chief Duke will be like that between a battle and a bulldozer. And of course we know who the bulldozer or who the spittle is in this case. No, 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 no. It's between a David and a Goliath. What you're probably saying is that I leave my kids in the hands of that monster. Richard, mm -hmm. are you calling your father-in-law and the grandfather of your children a monster? He's hardly anything else. Oh my God. Richard, I am your friend, please. Listen to me, Richard. Of course, you're my best friend. Thank you very much. But Richard, I want to advise you that you cannot get something off Chief Duke by being violent. So? Calm, tact, and a little diplomacy will work. Please. I beg you, please, Richard. Just listen to me once. Please. Daddy, why are you crying? It's all about mommy. Stuff or something. Oh. So how did you go then? Those welfare people, they are something else. How do you mean that? <sighs> they and their double standards. You won't believe it. They split the whole thing down the middle. How? They gave him one of the kids and gave us the other. <laughs> Why? Why? Because he stopped their mouth. Naira! <laughs> you will not believe it. You will you think case. They made him to look like an ideal husband who undoubtedly will become an ideal father. And that the reason why your marriage broke down was because of me. Me! Me! Wait, wait, daddy. And I believe him? Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, to me, you need, you need to have, you would, you would think they let under your bed. That boy will not, he will not get away with it. I promise you. He will not get away with it. Daddy, we have to do something. No, we let's, will. Let's, let's just uh, do something. Oh, we will do something. But we are not going to play their game. We are going to play their game. We will fall into their trap. And they will deny us both. So, I will get in touch with my lawyers and they will start working. The law courts. We will try the law. But we must not rush it, otherwise, as I said, we will fall into their traps. They want us to be aggressive, but we won't. Look, let's take the one child that we've been given. Oh, God. Yes. Yes. Let him have the other one. What are the law courts standing? Where are the law courts? <laughs> we are talking of the welfare. They are the officials. Oh, God. They will, they will be on his side. They will present the evidence that will support him. And the law will believe them. Just leave it. My lawyers will start work immediately. I called my lawyer just now when I arrived. He was not. He was not there. 
But I, I will go and call him again, but I'll tell you this much. That me, God God, will not get away with it. Now, he is thinking that he will get away with it, but I tell you, there's nothing to do. Quite intriguing, Your Majesty. Yes, Grandpa. Is this really you? Yes, Grandpa. Without her hospitalization, who knows how long they would have played this game? Now tell me. Why did you embark on such a deadly game, Your Majesty? Grandpa. Mm -hmm. Yeah? All my life, I've never been able to call somebody dad. So, I grabbed the opportunity. Immediately, it presented itself. Ten years ago, remember? I know you did. But Sandra didn't help my temper either. She was always on the wrong side of it. So what do you want to do now? I don't know. You know, everything went on fine until Sophia came along. And since I met her, I want to resume my fight to bring my daughter home. And you think the mother has no right equally to keep her daughter? That's not the point here, Henry. I just can no longer stand my daughter living under another roof. We have a big problem. Mommy is deeply getting involved with Uncle James. And Dad is getting deeply involved with Aunt Stella. So, what do we do? I don't know. We have to do something very fast. Um. See again. Um. um Cynthia, can, can you easily get access to Daddy's GSM asset? Yes, why? I think I have a plan. Can you tell me? Um, my, my Cynthia, I'll call you back. I'll call you back, I'll call you back, okay?
Who is James? From Richard. Why the hell does he want to know? What is on? I care for her daughter and I want the best for her. I love her so much within the brief moment I spent with her. Did Sophia make an impression on you? What does she think? Of course, Sophia has made it been a bigger impression on me. And I'm determined. Are you coming to court tomorrow? Rachel. How would you feel if your ex-wife suddenly starts bombarding you with text messages? <laughs> Richie. Richie, I have never tried that before. So how would I know? I know. But at least you can imagine things, can't you? <laughs> Please. I don't want to imagine this one. I mean, you are the single parent extraordinaire, so you can go ahead and tell me. Sandra has been sending me text messages, even when I didn't reply them. That's quite unlike her. Oh, oh my God. really? And what do the text messages talk about? Always done. Always come around to see Sophia if you so desire. So, what are you waiting for? 
Chief Duke. Chief Duke? Sure. I pulled his balls the first time. I'm sure he wouldn't work on the second. <laughs> you are a very lucky man, you know. Lucky to have a broken heart. Come on! Lucky to have your loveliest daughter living in another room. I've just been presented with this fat chance. What chance? Chance to remarry. Chance to reclaim your daughter without having to try to punches with Chief Duke. Are, are you insinuating? Now listen, listen to me. Listen to me, Richie. Richie, if I were you, I will grab it with both hands. Very fast. Like a shot in the head. What about Stella? Stella. <laughs> She doesn't belong here. I can advise you. Oh, mommy, please say yes. Please. Okay. All right. Okay. Fine. We go with the first flight tomorrow. I'll come back with the last flight. Oh, thank you. It's okay. So, why don't you go and look for something nice for you to wear? Alright. Okay. Wow. Thanks for your beautiful messages. What messages? The text messages, of course. Do you want the honest truth? Yeah, always. I'm sorry, I never really replied text messages. I... What are you talking about? Yes. <laughs> well, it looks like they're at it again. your wedding gown from Paris. But I said, no, James, why didn't you wait? Get a confirmation. So, what will it be? Confirmation? So, Not yet, James, please. Not yet? Mm -hmm. oh, why? Well, because um, I rushed into a marriage once, and I'm not about to do that again. 
I don't understand these things anymore. How long do you want me to wait? Another 12 years? Forever? Alexandra, if you're not interested in a life with me, I'd like you to speak up. I'd like you to tell me. And I'd like you to tell me now. You want the truth? I want the truth. I'm not yet convinced, James. That's the honest truth. You're not yet convinced. You're not yet convinced. If that's the way you want it. But don't you be expecting me back anytime soon. a mistake. James loves you. It's written all over him. Daddy, didn't you see Cynthia? What about her? She needs her mother. Daddy, I can't stand being separated from her for the rest of my life. Richard brought her up without my guidance and I don't want her to grow up that way. Besides, Sophia needs her father's guidance too. So that was why you went to Lagos? Partly. Daddy, I spoke to Richard at length. He sincerely wants us back. You want to go back to that animal? He has changed, Daddy. He has changed. Change? A leopard never changes his spots. The Richard I know will beat you up again and again and again and again. Daddy! in the presence of Cynthia and Sophia. Please. Maybe I didn't try enough to accommodate his temper. I promise this time around I'm going to do that. No! Daddy, no! Daddy, please. No! Daddy. Daddy. Son!
I didn't go after you the first time you went away from me. And I ended up wasting 10 years of my precious life. I don't intend to waste. Let's go. Sandra. Desperate to take your place. Well, tell him he was late. Doesn't need to be told. <laughs> this chief, I'm here for your forgiveness. I am no god. But man is god to man. If your brother offends. Huh? I'm not your brother. Say the sermon. I'm very sorry, Chief. I really am. I came here as a prodigal son. I am not your father. Thank you. 